Okay, hey everybody, this is this is Kev. Uh so okay, now I'm on to box three. Box two was not as exciting as box one. I guess I picked a good one to start with. But we're gonna find out now about this box number box number three. And keep in mind, there's still two more boxes after this. Good God, woman. She's thorough. When she wants to excise somebody from her life, she, she doesn't. I guess I don't blame her. We weren't particularly good for each other, but I, for my part, I still, I don't regret it because she was... She was something else. She was an amazing person. Uh, I thought she got a bad rap from from some people, but I think that her heart is so true and her will is so strong that it's just hard to understand her. And I tried. Oh, God, did I try to understand her. So, all right. Anyway, that's not what this is about. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that again. Okay, what this is about is me looking through and finding, oh, Jesus. You know, this was the coolest bag I ever saw. And the lady who was selling it was super cute. And so I bought it. Is that a good reason to buy a bag? No, because this bag is absolutely the most useless bag. Look at it, even now. It's stuffed with... Stuffed with... Oh, wait. There's stuff in it. With paper? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, what's in here? Uh, oh, jeez. Look at this. My Fantastic Four mug or pint glass. One of the one of the nicest things. One of the only times my dad really like got me something that that he that was like up my alley. And unfortunately, they're really crappy. <laughs> like the, the things came off like see here, the Incredible Hulk is like has a big bite taken out of him. Um, that's not that's not his fault, but. Uh, it's just the way that these things were made. Um, Captain America! Captain America! Head and feet, no torso. He's... Yeah, these they, they just did not make it... I, I guess maybe you were supposed to hand wash them and you didn't know at first. Because uh, I think... And of course... The amazing Spider-Man with a hammer toe just just kind of woof off there. Just crazy. Okay. All right. So that's what she did with this bag. Okay. Well, and see, the thing is, uh, this bag is so cool looking, but it's just a piece of crap. It's not useful at all. That thing is back bad memories. Let's see what we got here. Okay, more bubble. A lot, of, a lot of bubble wrap. She's very, very careful. Ah, purple shirt. Yeah, the purple shirt. People would like to say, hey, that was a pretty cool purple shirt. Look at this. A belt. A belt. That's a good belt. That's a that's a mean that's a belt right there. Look at these! Holy smokes! Freaking dancing shoes and another silver shirt. And some crappy. No, they're not crappy. They're feelers. Oh man! What? All right, is is she is she joking with me? All right, because amazing shoe, 
amazing shoe, pretty amazing shoe. I don't know what this one is, but let's say, no, it's not an amazing shoe, but it's a shoe. And that's it. There's just one of them. Was it a joke? <laughs> All right. Well, maybe in another box. <laughs> that's, that's her sense of humor, I guess. <clears throat> All right, in this box here. <gasps> this thing is the coolest. Oh, man, I'm going to plug it in right now, damn it. It's a it's a really good little speaker. I don't know. It's not waterproof. It's not anything, but it lights up, and it's got a little kissy side on it. Yeah, well, a bunch of my crap. <sighs> Christmas crap. Anybody who gives Christmas gifts... Christmas crap as Christmas gifts is just is just wrong. It's just not not something you should do. I I firmly believe that. Oh god, what the hell? Uh, okay, shaver, Christmas crap. Okay. Oh god. Max alkaline batteries, long lasting. Okay, that's good. Oh, look, it's a little, it's a little thing for my computer. It can. Uh, this is what this is the stuff that I was looking for. You know, like all the little things. This is. Um, you can turn stuff on and off with it. It's a little USB port. Okay, you didn't like the salt. God, I. I want. I just. I bought this. I bought this salt at this place where I, th I thought it was like super. Like this, the company Laguna Laguna Salt Company. And I just. I like the idea of like making stuff with salt that was like had different things to it. And apparently she didn't like that because now I've got it again. Uh, um, another USB hub. Uh, charger thing. <gasps> Superman? Batman? Flushman? Uh, well, that's good. Here's some stomach stuff. I don't know if that's any good for me. Oh, and a, and a warrior. And a broken belt. A light lighter and some old old crap. Oh, the Joker! Hey, Joker! <laughs> Whoop! Joker's Joker's not standing too good. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is basically a box of crap, but it's not the worst crap. This was, oh, this is what I made. This is the thing that I turned into a, uh, a movie projector. Oh, might as well keep that. This, which was right, nothing. I'm sorry. We're getting into these minutia. And uh, I think, yeah. By doing that, all right, so... Like deodorant. Oh, here's a thing for my whiteboard. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, another Batman who's like leaning way in. Whoa. And that's pretty much it. I'm <laughs> the rest. Of, I mean, here's some some cords. I'll see if they work. But oh. And this is like a magic, oh, kind of like a magic plug. All right, all right, I see, I see how this is. Just everything, everything must go, even if it's useful to you. I'm glad that you're over it. Oh. Look, cool, cool wooden box. <gasps> Oh my god! 
my pocket watch. <laughs> An original tape of my of my movie. My dice bag. Oh. A condom for when I was feeling very optimistic about things. Oh my gosh. This right here. <laughs> God, let me tell you this story real quick. So my friend, uh, my friend uh, Sandra and I went with Frankie to this, to this thing, and it was like this amazing um, rap, not rap party, as in like they were wrapping something up, but a rap as in it was a rap stars, and so. <laughs> We were having fun at the party, but then we went across the street to this like art building and we, we were, she said, oh, let's just smoke a little of this and, and then just do that. And so we did and we got so lost in the building and we couldn't escape. And we were just like looking forever to try to get out of there. And it was like the scariest thing ever. And then, <laughs> and then the, the, I, I looked on the ground and I saw this little fucking piece of broken tiara and I said Sandra this is the key and she said yes it is the key and she got so excited and we like started opening doors and then and then we got out of there and it was like the most amazing experience of my life and for some reason one one year everybody decided that uh I should learn the harmonica. So maybe, you know, maybe I will, you know? Okay, maybe I won't. That, I can't, I just can't see how that noise could not be annoying. I mean, I guess it's not annoying when John Popper did it or when John, John or Bob Dylan did it, but God, I'm not, not me, man. Ah. USB, okay. Anyway, this is more crap. A little, little, little camera as if I need one. Uh, okay, that was, that was really, that was a light night. That was actually nice. I like that. And it looks to me like the rest of it is oh, clothes. Oh, clothes. Oh, clothes. Oh. Um, here is a uh, romance novel that I bought because I wanted to figure out how to write romance novels. And I read like 10 pages of it. And I was like, oh, okay, so you just write like you don't know what you're doing. Uh, surely you're joking, Mr. Feynman. That's Feynman. I like this guy. He he had all kinds of weird ideas about about science and stuff. I, I like him a lot. Ah, Adam and Eve: Bizarre Love Trial and the Zombie Apocalypse. This is by my friend Dan Noakes, who is who is a, a very good he. And I say very good now with complete conviction because he he has honed his his art and has become a really really good artist. Um, and I'm just like he you should you should check out his stuff. It's 21st Century Sand Shark. I'll put it down at the bottom there. But uh, this this guy is is good and he's a great friend of mine. And someday I want him to do the the graphic novel of my novels but he has to read the book first and he just can't seem to pull that off it doesn't matter dan gots to be dan this is an amazing graphic novel and i'm glad to have it back it's just it's really really good i recommend it black hole and of course Modern World, this, the Cartoon History of the Modern World, this is the uh, one of the best books uh, out there for just learning about, like, what was going on 
after the after the dark ages and it just it's he, this guy is, is really good it's, it's a little hard to follow because there's so much crap but that's not his fault I mean, he does a good job sorry uh, anyway that's box number three uh i enjoyed box number three it had some nice little things in there for me so all right let's stop this and maybe we'll move on to box number four see you in the flight papers